Hey guys and welcome back to another vlog. So today is Tuesday, it's a Tuesday night game. Tuesday night's games are always brilliant. You know, Brisbane Road under the floodlights, nothing better. And we take on Halifax Town, obviously at home. And this is not going to be an easy fixture actually. We're coming back off a 2-0 defeat away to Boreham Wood, which is a poor, poor defeat of course, but um, you know, you want to bounce back and it's, it's not really the kind of game where you can easily do that. You've got a challenge, but in a way that is not a bad thing as well. So hopefully the players can put things right because um, every time, well, the other two times we lost this season, we bounced back and got a result. So that's what you want. And hopefully we can do that because if you do that, the mentality and the confidence is restored back in the side. You know, we've um, got an opportunity also if we win to go top. Uh, Halifax are a good team. They've come up from the National League North and to travel down from Yorkshire to um, London on a Tuesday night when their team was in the National League North last season is is a, is a, will be a good effort for the ones who turn out. So hopefully they have a safe journey here um, and a safe journey back as well. But hopefully we get the three points. So um, my score prediction today, I'm saying 2-2. Two, two. I don't think it's going to be easy at all. I'd actually take two all, to be honest, before the ball's kicked. But when the ball's kicked, it's a completely different game, isn't it? You know, you don't know, you know, then you know how the game's kind of going to pan out. So also I've got a new sort of feature. If, you know, you know someone, that watches my channel or you watch my channel yourself just comment down or drop me a dm on instagram at orient on tour 1881 um you know if it's your birthday or something and i'll give you a birthday message on my channel so yeah let's head down to brisbane road right now Neil Halifax pulled the fending really early in the game. Bad, bad defending. Getting a bit wet now, the rain's coming in on me. And uh, Harold had a chance where he should have scored and put it in the back of the net. It was easier to score than miss, so should be equalised, should have equalised, but we'll have to wait and see. Another chance to score. Looked like two yards out from it, opposite end. Bocco's put it over the bar. Not good. Just got a hot dog for the game. 2 0 Halifax now. Poor defending again. Half time to Neil Halifax. And the Halifax fan. Fair play to them if I'm done. That first half was so poor. The defence was so poor and sloppy. The game was sloppy. Uh, we're not winning the second balls. We've had about three goal scoring opportunities where we should have scored. Um, Mackinoff went in, smacked the inside of the post. It's not going our way. It could be one of those days. We're shooting down this way in the second half. Uh, we just have to hope that we step up. That was shocking. Second half has started and there's a pretty bad rain. You probably can't see, but it's pretty heavy rain. David Mooney on for Bocco. Another corner. Come on. Oh, that is dangerous, man. Oh, Joe B. Oh, they're good at the back. What? No, uh, no. Penalty to Halifax. Oh, my God. It's going to get from bad to worse. Come on, Granger. Come on, Charlie. Come on, Charlie. Oh, God's sake. That's game over. Not long left now. Like a minute left, 3 0 down. So poor today, honestly. You should have bounced back. And we've had the opportunities to score goals as well. 
as you can tell, I am now back from football um, after getting on the wrong train train home as well. Got on the wrong uh, train, so we was about ten minutes later. Um, the game was just really poor. We were we were just awful from the first minute. The combination of the centre backs, Clark and uh, Sanders White, they didn't you know they weren't compatible because obviously they hadn't played with each other yet. And um, you know we missed either El or Kobe or Colson. So hopefully they're fit for sat for Saturday. I don't know what the deal is with them at the moment. Um, I think Caprice was pretty poor. I think he's really good going forward, but defending he's a little bit um, weak and he gets exposed a lot as well. Uh, Bucko missed an absolute sitter in the first half. We literally should have tapped it into the net. Uh, we could have been back on level terms. McEnough had a chance to score when he hit the um, inside of the post, really, and it went back out from like 40 yards, 35 yards. Uh, he was the only one I thought that played really well tonight. He put in a lot of effort, like he did Saturday. So again, I'd give McEnough man of the match. Mooney, when he came on, did all right as well. Um, but yeah, it was just a poor performance, and when you wanted to bounce back um, and show some resilience, we didn't we didn't do that, which is frustrating because you know when going into the Hartlepool game, where who you know they picked up ten points in the last four games, so they've started to pick up form as well. When we've actually decreased in form, it was going to be a tough, even tougher game now. So yeah, that that one's going to be tough. Twelve thirty kickoff as well, another home game. So yeah, um, thank you for watching. If you're new to the channel, then hit that subscribe button down below and you can also turn on the post channel notifications, which is that little bell. And it, basically what that does is every time I upload, you just get notified. So yeah, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new and I will see you at home to Hartlepool Saturday.